हेलो हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक ऑन द पोएम द सी एंड द स्काई लार्क द सी एंड द स्काई लार्क इज अ पोएम रिटन बाय Gerald Manley Hopkins that is G M Hopkins The Sea and the Sky Lark is the first modern poem for our study G M Hopkins is an outstanding poet a victorian poet he represents victorian age and modern age he is the bridge between the victorian and modern age he is an outstanding poet of the end of the victorian period and beginning of the modern period hence he represents both ages he is the link between the two and he is outstanding because he used words in his poetry poetically words are not simply used for words sake but for him every word should make sounds the sounds that should give the sense so he having this point in mind he introduced a new technique of writing poetry that is new device which is used in the poetry that is sprung rhythm sprung rhythm the very word is very attractive and impressive because the word sprung is a par- participle form of the word spring the word spring it springs the feelings in the form of sounds the spring gives the sounds that sounds are organized rhythmically in his poetry therefore the poet jem hopkins is popularly known as the poet of sprung rhythm that is running rhythm in his poetry here the poet can express his waves rhythmically because he strongly believes that the rhythm can draws the attention of the reader to get depth into the the concept of the poem the understanding of the poem can be completed when we read and understand the poem rhythmically the words which doesn't make any sounds 
it is no use of reading and chanting poetry it shall become dry therefore poetry should arouse the feelings and emotions in the reader as the reader himself involved in understanding poetry he is possible when he reads the rhythmically to give effect to the poetry and to understand the poem in the right way the poet has used sprung rhythm in his poetry in this way the present poem that seen in the sky lark is very apt to the sense of the word sprung rhythm the sea in the sky lark is having the true sense of the word sprung rhythm and effects on the reader it is relevant to read and understand the poem in the views of various sounds that produce and give the sense of the poem therefore the present poem we see in the sky lark it represents sprung rhythm we can notice and observe the rhythmic pattern of words are well organized very systematically when we read the poem very closely right i hope we can understand the concept and importance of the sprung rhythm it is used in the poem the sea and the sky lark in the next class i am going to read the whole poem rhythmically to observe and listen the words in the sense of the sprung rhythm thank you